Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you an instructive and useful project. We will build a battery tester, using an Arduino, and a an handful of components. This tester will allow you to check the health status of disposable alkaline batteries. Before we start, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel, and also to leave some comments, to let me know if you like my videos. Let's get started. Many persons use a normal multimeter to check the charge status of batteries. This method is often suggested by many experts too, but it isn't very accurate. Measuring the voltage in no load condition, can result in a reading close to the nominal voltage, even if the battery is almost discharged. For reliable readings, the voltage should be measured with the battery sourcing some current. Some years ago I built this tester, to verify the charge status of the batteries, and decide if they are still usable, or ready for recycling. I know, it isn't aesthetically appealing, but it is quite precise and reliable. Let's see how it works. When a battery is connected, the circuit absorbs from its terminals a constant current, so the battery is tested under load condition. Test current can be set with this potentiometer, and the value, in this case 100 mA, can be read on the display. Note that the current will remain constant, regardless of the battery voltage and charge level. Once the battery is put under load condition, the voltage is measured by a microcontroller, and displayed on the screen, in both numerical and graphical form. Let's see now, how to make a similar tester using an Arduino board. For simplicity, the circuit is only suitable for testing 1.5 volt batteries. Don't connect a 9 volt one, or you will damage your Arduino. This is the part of the circuit, that provide the constant current load. I will now try to briefly describe the operating principle. The circuit is based on an operational amplifier. I've used an LM358 which is a popular one, and is cheap and easy to find. This IC is composed of two amplifiers, but we only need one of them, so the other will remain unused. R1 and R2 form a voltage divider, used to set the voltage on the non-inverting input at about 450 millivolts. The op-amp output drives the base of a transistor, which is responsible for regulating the current flowing through R3 resistor. This current is taken directly from the battery under test. The upper terminal of R3 is connected to the inverting input of the operational, so, B point of the circuit is at the same potential of point A. R3 value is 3.9 ohm, so the current through this resistor will be about 116 mA, regardless of battery voltage. This current value is good for testing, but you can change it by modifying the value of R3 resistor. With a 1.8 ohm resistor, for example, the current will be about 250 mA. The transistor I've used in my prototype, a BD139, is a lot overrated. You can use any NPN transistor that can withstand a current of at least 300 mA, and dissipate a power of at least 500 mW. A good candidate could be a common BC337, or a 2N2222. Once the load is applied to the battery we can measure the voltage across it, using one of the analog inputs of the Arduino. The voltage to be measured is very low, so, to increase resolution, we will use 3.3 volts as ADC reference, instead of the default 5 volts. In order to do this, we have to connect the analog reference pin and 3.3 volts pin together. The firmware is already set up for this operating mode. The measurement result, is shown on a common LCD display, connected through I2C interface. Connections for these displays are very simple. In addition to the power supply terminals, just connect the SDA pin to A4 pin on the Arduino, and SCL pin to A5. 
And this is the complete schematic. Let's now move on to the firmware. In the video description you'll find a link to the firmware page. Just copy and paste it in the Arduino IDE and load it on the device. The firmware is quite simple and well commented, but let's briefly see some customizations that can be done. As a first thing, we can set the display's I2C address. This is usually 0x27 or 0x3F, depending on the model. Change this line according to the one you are using. With this macro, you can change the reference voltage used for ADC. If you have connected the analog ref pin to the 3V3 pin, don't touch this line. To use the default 5 volts reference, comment the line with a double slash, but remember to leave analog reference pin unconnected. The circuit will still work, but will be a bit less precise. Finally, we can set the minimum voltage threshold. Under this value, the tester will indicate the battery as totally discharged. Changing this value will only affect the indication of the graphical bar, not the numerical value displayed. I have set this value to 1.1 volts. Keep in mind that, even below this value, the batteries may still be fine for some applications, for example in the TV remote control. For those who are not familiar with traditional schematics, here is the image of the practical connections to make the circuit on the breadboard. Remember the connection between analog reference and 3V3 pins, and check the pin order, in case you're using a transistor other than the BD139. And here is my version of the circuit. I used a big 2 watts resistor as R3, only because it was the only I had. You can use a common 1 quarter watt resistor. I will now load the firmware. And the circuit is ready to go. To test the battery, just connect its negative terminal to ground, and the positive to pin A0. Remember that the tester is suitable only for 1.5 volts batteries. If you're interested in the modification needed to work also with 9 volts types, let me know in the comments. Well, that's all for this video. Click on like if it was useful to you, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.